Hello and welcome to my F124 driver career mode here today for the Dutch Grand Prix and round 8 of the season. We're back after the summer break coming off the back of the Belgian Grand Prix. So let's get the second half of the season underway as we round the final corner on our first run in the qualifying. We come out the bank and we've got the win and we've got the win. Right, that is good enough for P9 and Charles Clare to turn the vision pole. We come to the end of qualifying now. We're only just up on our time. We're actually down again coming out of this chicane. We've actually dropped to P17. We found a couple of hundreds coming through the final corner. As we go up to the line, we find in a little bit more time, but we are going to start P. For years, the people of Zandvoort fondly recalled the Grand Prix they used to hold, and then came along Max Verstappen. Across Europe, the Orange Army sold seats and seats and seats, and now they have their own Grand Prix. It is time for race day in the Netherlands. Zandvoort circuit then, 14 corners, 10 to the right and 4 to the left, with plenty of steep camber and elevation changes to keep our drivers on their toes throughout the 2.6 mile lap. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position and Lando Norris lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Oscar Piastri, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Hamilton, Perez, Albon, Russell, Stroll, Gasly, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, Brown, Sainz, Ocon, Bottas, Ricardo, Magnussen, and Joe Guan Yu. And now it's time to head down to the track. Hello everyone, welcome to the commentary box. I'm Alex Jakes and we say hello to Naomi Schiff. Now, those final hours before a race, did you have a routine? Well, every driver certainly has their own way of preparing themselves before a race. But I can tell you that pre-race rituals are a real thing. When I was in go-karting, I used to touch every wheel in a specific sequence before I got into the cart. And then I stepped up to cars and had a specific set of fireproof base layers just for race day. So watch the drivers when they're on the grid. Some may be sitting on the floor and isolating, others may be up to other things that they do. But these little things really help their minds get ready for the race. Here we go then, the formation lap gets underway and the excitement here is building as we near ever closer to the start of the race. Which team will come out on top? Who's got their strategies right for today's race? Well, we'll soon find out. So as all the cars take their positions on the grid, the teams will be hoping their strategies pay off for them in today's race. And the question I'm asking is which teams have got it right? and which teams have got it horribly wrong. So here we go then, we're on the group, we're ready for the Dutch Grand Prix. So now what would you like to be on the side here at Zandvoort? We've got a fair and decent start. So has Carl Sainz, he's alongside us. We're going to break later. Down the inside into turn again. Into turn again. He's got a big time soccer. We've lost a lot of places. We've got a lot of games at the first corner. Behind us now is Carl Sainz. As we walk, run a little bit wide. Going through the turn three, the first bank corner. We all have the bank there of the Alpine. I think there's Esteban up and he's going through the dunes and towards the next corner with one wide. And that's a very long corner of sights to walk through the open door we've left him. We're going to try and hold it on the outside though. Sights on the inside. We run a bit wide again and sights is through on us. He gets the job done after all. 
mistake on our part, running wide. But now can we get, get him back? That Ferrari is going to be quick. And it was quick because he did start to get away as this is the RB. Getting past Magnussen. He was locked up and gone straight on into the gravel at time one. So lap four now, and this is about to open by Gazi and Carlos Sainz. We're just lingering in the background as there goes Gasly on open back round the outside goes Sainz and Sainz get the job done I think he has he just got his nose ahead he is ahead he's kind of Sainz ahead of the horse that next is him for him is the Alpine now can we get open back can we get the horse he's got a bad launch off the turn three we've got him through the dunes can we just follow Carlos Sainz through in this race? That would be handy. As this is Carlos Sainz, what a launch! Going down the pit straight, DRS opening. He's got a rocket down that pit straight past the Alpine off Gasly. But we started to fall back behind the now. It's open road. He's coming at us. If he's too far back to do anything, we burnt our car. But Hulkenberg's locked up at turn one as well. Hulkenberg's locked up and gone straight on into turn one at the gravel. So behind us now is the Sauber of the factory Bottas. He's not really having a great season. It's Joe that's been busy. But Bottas has got the job done round the outside. Goes Esteban off on. He tries to get past this. But we keep back on behind. Can we stick with Bottas now? Can we get back past Bottas? We're going to send it late down the inside of Valtteri Bottas. He's going to keep it around the outside and pins. And Bottas uses his experience to keep us behind for now. But can we get a launch off of this corner? Can we find a way through as we go through the dunes? We're all over the road trying to find a way through on the fin. But we're going to have to be patient and wait another lap. As we come on to the end of lap 11, we're going to be getting closer and closer to the back of that Salva. We're going to swap Bottas the dummy. The inside didn't work, but the outside has worked. But we keep it pinned around the outside. Bottas keeps his foot in on the inside, but Bottas backs out of it. This is just at the road. This is George Russell going down into turn one and straight on into the gravel. That's the third driver that has done that in this race. The AI struggling to get around the first corner. Back to our battle though. We can break away from Bottas. Bottas is getting close. Bottas is up the inside of us. Bottas has re-overtaken us. Unless we can keep it pinned around the outside. We try to, but Bottas has got us there. We have to admit defeat. And we will have to try again because we're stuck with him. This time we're going back to the inside and we've got him before we even get to the first corner. But we've run wide and Bottas is going to get us back up the inside. Bottas keeps it pinned but he backs out of it eventually. We keep it pinned round the outside and we're back past Bottas. Now though, can we finally break away? And the answer was no, we just couldn't get away we can break the DRS and we've got a poor exit off of that corner and Bottas is going to get us at the second DRS straight into that very odd and tight chicane Bottas is back through this is turning into a great little battle between us but we've dropped back now a little bit into the clutches of Esteban Ocon we're going to be left defending Ocon here instead of attacking Bottas once again. Ocon has got us so is the heart of Kevin Magnussen. We keep it pinned round the outside of Magnussen to get the place back. But Esteban Ocon is free. And so is the RB of Daniel Ricciardo on the horse. Round the outside we tried to go but we've lost the place now. It's at the end of lap 16. We're going to the box to make a one and only stop of the race. If everything goes to plan, we've followed in Ocon and Bottas. It is going to be a quick stop. But it's not, it's not. There's a, there's a problem. There's a problem on the left. It's going to be slow. 
there's another pit stop issue for us this season. Hopefully this time it doesn't cost us too much, but it's so hard to overtake here, even despite the battles we've had. And this is the RB now, who we were battling out of turn one, it goes, there is us. We've lost so much time actually from the battle with with Bottas, we've actually beat Bottas out. So the, so the issue never really happened in a way, it didn't matter the pit stop issue, we're still, we're still ahead of them behind us. We've actually jumped them, which is alright. And now we're left battling the RP of Daniel Ricciardo, who's massively undercut everyone after his mistake. But Ricardo back down the inside of us. We try and hold it around the outside. We do hold it around the outside. Yuki Tsunoda is waiting in the wings. We could very easily be double teamed here. As we currently sit in P14 as we head back down towards turn one, lap 21, back down the inside. Goes Daniel Ricardo. He's trying to make an impression. He wants the Red Bull seat. Perez isn't doing the business so far this season. Down the inside though, Ricardo tries again. We've kicked him behind and behind so far. Round the outside, our red light is flashing as we continue to drain the battery to keep him behind. This time though, lap 23, he's got a great run and he has got us. As Daniel Ricardo with one wide and Yuki Sonoda has a little look on the inside. But we get the exit off of turn one to stay ahead of him for now. But we've gone wide again as we try to do the up and under. Now we're all over the back of Daniel Ricciardo trying to find a way through. We go to the left, we go to the right, but we're still going to have to wait for a while. This is Lance Stroll who was all over the back of Alex Albon trying to find a way through. And Lance Stroll's crashed into the pressure and has spun round and now reversing into the gravel. I don't think that's a particularly smart idea. But as he sits there at the side of the track, nothing is coming. You can see those in front of us, and you'll see us in a minute go through. And there we are, we've lost out to... As we've lost out to Ricardo, of course, as well. This is the two Alpines going at it. As Ocon gets past Gasly, going down into turn one, but Esteban Ocon's locked up and gone straight on at turn one. And he's come back onto the track and nearly gone into the side of us, and he's caught Ricardo out, and Ricardo's nearly ploughed into the side of him as well. But it means we've re overtaken the RB, but now we're battling. Esteban Ocon, he's trying to go to the outside of us, we push him wide, and that's allowed Daniel Ricardo to to go through on the Alpine. This has turned from a three-way fight into a four-way fight. We run a bit wide. Ricardo tried to get the inside of us, but he is getting up the inside of us now on lap 29. We try and hold it around the outside. This is only for P12, but it's a great battle. Round the outside, we keep it pinned. We keep the job of done off keeping him behind the four now, but Ricardo is not giving up in this race to find a way through to the inside he goes again we defend once more to the outside but this time Ricardo has got us unless we can go for a lunge on the brakes and that's exactly what we're going to do to overtake Daniel Ricardo but he's back on it yet again round the outside we keep Ricardo behind, but this time can we get a better red set? No, we can't. This is an incredible battle as we really get some bruised elbows trying to keep both behind. This is Fernando Alonso's engine going bang. The Mercedes engine in the back of that Aston has decided to give up. It's turning into a pretty shocking race for Aston Martin. Stroll spins, Alonso's on the sidelines now. As we go down towards turn one, Daniel Ricciardo is coming at us again. 
I said, I do somewhere. As I was taking off on, we keep it pinned around the outside of Ricardo. He seems to be a little bit further alongside us, but he still backs out. Now then, lap at twin, lap 35, round the outside, Ricardo tries again, we push him wide, and now he may be done by his teammate, and he is done by his teammate, Yuki Sonoda is through on Ricardo, I'm surprised he wasn't team on this before, but Yuki Sonoda now going on to the final lap of this thrilling Dutch Grand Prix goes to the inside, we hold it around the outside, get the extra traction. There seems to be so much more grip on the outside of turn one, but we keep them behind. But up front, Charles Leclerc is going to deny Max Verstappen a fourth home Grand Prix in a row. He wins, but Max is racing into the line. Charles Leclerc does it on the line with Verstappen. Has to come home for P2, and we, after an epic battle with the RBs, have been up at home for P11. Many doubted whether they could pull off the win here in Zandvoort, but they've done so in spectacular style. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. So that's been your Dutch Grand Prix won by Charles Leclerc, Ferrari's first win of the season. Max Verstappen's going to have to wait a little bit longer to get his first win as a four-time world champion. He's been denied a fourth Grand Prix win in a row here at Zandvoort. He nearly did it on the line though, look at that, 92 thousandths of a second. In terms of our race though, we come home for P11, great battle with the RBs of Ricardo and Sonoda, Sonoda getting Ricardo in the end after we pushed him wide. Though we just missed out on points at P11, Alex Albon has got points today, finishing P9, so that's some good two points for us. Fernando Alonso retired and Lance Stroll finishes in P19. They were both in the points, it was looking alright for Alonso. It's an awful day for Aston Martin. So last time out in Spa, Max Verstappen was crowned a four-time world champion, but that win for Charles Leclerc means the gap has come down for once and the gap is 76 points. There's very much still a fight on for second in the Drivers' World Championship is still very close between Leclerc, Lando, Hamilton. Alonso, after getting up the order last about in Spa, has dropped back down again. He's been jumped by Lewis Hamilton once more. We still sit P10. Piastri has gained a bit today, but so has Albon as well. And then down at the back, there's still three drivers still yet to score. That being Yuki Tsunoda, Esteban Ocon and Kevin Magnussen is bottom of the Drivers' World Championship. In terms of the Constructors then, everyone has a point now, but it is Red Bull who are still at the top. They can actually wrap up the Constructors next time out at Monza with just two races to go ahead of Ferrari and Mercedes in the top aren't too far behind the prancing horses and then p4 is mclaren aston martin a p5 we are still p6 ahead of sauber alpine rb and haas so that's been then your dutch grand prix we go though next to the home of ferrari at monza for the penultimate rounds of the season before the sprint race finale in 
Brazil, we head to one of the greatest tracks on the Formula One calendar. We'll see you in Monza. Goodbye.